What's up everybody? Today we're going over how to make millions of stubs as far as investment goes and as far as flipping cards. I'm going to give you all the information you need in this video leading up to the next roster update. Before we go any further, don't be a hater your whole life. Drop a like on the video, hit that red subscribe button and turn your notifications on. Let's get into today's if you're looking for great gaming services, head on over to AHMLB and make sure you use code FET for 5% off your order. All right, so this is my team. Now let's go to the marketplace and look at what you need to do as far as making a lot of stubs. Being smart, picking up players that are performing in real life and then selling them when they are at their max. I'm gonna give you guys some bonus tips in this video, so lock in and stay for the entire video. Also, shout out to the MVPs. All right, so first we're gonna look at the marketplace. We're gonna look at what I was doing last night. I've been getting all these cards that I'm about to go over in this video, especially the ones that you can find for cheap because whether they go gold or right before the roster update when people are speculating that golds are going to go diamonds silvers are going to go gold you are going to be able to sell your players at the highest profit possible you can see these hoskins rise hoskins i got them for 200 stubs a piece now once he gets that bump he would be 1,000 minimum. That would be an 800 profit every single time. All right, so Rice Hoskins right here, 78 overall, playing up to a 82 overall. Yesterday, I got him for 200 stubs. So you can see already, his buy now has jumped to 454, and his easiest that you can get him is 242. So we are already 42 stubs underneath and we already can make 175 stub profit. Now, 78 to 80 overall, that little bump would put him at a thousand minimum. So he would be 13, 1400 stub range. I would be able to walk away with a thousand every single time. Another card, this Andrew McCutcheon. I've been getting them for a hundred stubs. He's been performing very, very good. So this is the Andrew McCutcheon right here. 75 overall playing up to a 77 overall. So his buy now is 175. Like I said, I went and scooped up a bunch of them for a hundred stubs. So if he gets a bump even up to a 78 or 79 overall, his price will go up from this 100 that I got him to about 650 to 750 stubs. Now, if he goes to gold, that's automatically 1,000 stubs. That would be a 900 profit on every single card that I got. And you can hold them. If they go up from silver to gold, if they go from gold to diamond, you can hold the cards, pick up more that you want for lower price. And when they do get the diamond, that 5,000 tier, you are making... 45 to 4,700 stubs every single time. The big card that I was investing in is, is this Mark Kenya. 269 stubs I was getting them for, and I got a lot of them. All right, so let's look at my inventory. You can see Kenya's, I got 16 of them, being able to get them at super, super low. So I can cash out the day of the roster update and let all the speculation go. People are gonna be putting out prediction videos and all that type of stuff. That's when I'm going to sit back and take advantage of it. And that's when you're going to sit back and do the same thing if you are subscribed with your notifications on and you drop a like on the video because I'm giving y'all some crazy insight. You can see I'm at 272,000 stubs. I've been using this method over and over and over. Flipping cards, being smart and using the exchanges at perfect times will get you a lot of stubs. So I can cash out right now with everything and I can have about 380,000 stubs. I can wait four more days or six more days and I can be at 500,000 stubs just by the stuff that's in my binder. Another card is this Pete Alonzo. 83 overall, playing up to an 86 overall. I got 11 of these. I got them for cheap last night, like 1,005. Wait six or seven days, you're gonna see that 1,707 go up to about 4,000 to 4,300 stubs. I will already, on each one of the cards, I got 11 of them. You do the math. That's a lot of stubs with this one card. And I got about six or seven main cards that's gonna bring me between 100 and 170,000 stubs. When I put it on the screen, take note and write it down. 
the last card that we're gonna do in this video I got three or four more cards but I'm not gonna put it in this video so make sure you are subscribed when I do post more tips like this follow me on all social medias they are above and below in the description this Aaron Nola 83 playing up to a 84 he didn't perform that good in the past two games but he's been on a tear this year so make sure that you put him on your watch i got seven of them by the time the roster update comes around i want to have at least 10 to 12 of them i like to always get everybody in 10 bundles if possible 1300 that's very very low matter of fact we're gonna go and grab us a couple more of them right now in this video 1297 so i can go 1298 I'm gonna do 1298 he's 1696 that's almost a 400 stub difference I can make a little profit they take 160 off there's three 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 or I can be patient that's the name of the game be subscribed to this channel and be patient and you will make a lot of stubs enjoy the rest of y'all day let's go